Hey guys, it's Jake here, Jake's Trap Line. Uh, uh, it's been a while since I made a video. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, I thought I would share how I render fish oil and my beaver tail oil. Uh, everybody's got their own way of doing things. This is just my way of doing it. Uh, I've learned over trial and error over many years, making lots of messes and wasting a lot of money doing, trying to make my own stuff. For what I've spent here, this is an old dog cage. I had it already. Dog cage is just to keep the critters out. Uh, for what I have here, the glass jars and the buckets I all got for free. Uh, I bought some tubing and some fitting and some silicone electrical tape and that I've already had. So for what I've spent all together to make this, uh, I'll more than made what I'll use for the year trapping. Uh, I've probably spent a total of my own money, probably $15 in tubing and fittings. But this is how I do it. Uh, this big jug right here, this one right here, that is full of just water. Uh, that bucket is completely full, well, about an inch from the top. All my hoses from my buckets and glass jars go into there. Uh, they are all the way, they're weighted on the bottom, so they stay to the bottom of the bucket. And that's how the gas is released from each jar and bucket. And the flies cannot get in, the, they can get in the water, but they can't put a snorkel on and go up the hose. I've never found one yet that could. And if you get one maggot or one fly into any of your jars of what you're rendering, it will ruin what you have. I have, uh, I love glass jars. Glass jars work the best. Uh, the fish I'm using is, you can see a few flies flying around, but uh, I was gonna tell you the reason that I like the water so much is the flies, but it also uh, filters the smell. It does not stink right here. I mean, I'm on my little concrete junk pad behind my house. My neighbors don't want to kill me because they're not smelling rotten fish right now. There's a very faint smell coming out of here. And there's only a few flies flying around trying to figure out where it's coming from. But the water's filtering the smell. I love the glass jars because the sunlight can shine through it and render it true. Uh, I did not have enough glass jars to do all my fish. So some of my fish is in that bucket. I do have another setup somewhere else that I'm making uh, fish oil in, but here's my setup at home. Uh, the dog cage, like I said, is just to keep the critters out at night. Uh, no flies can get in my jars. Everybody's got their own way and system that they make fish oil and that, but this is mine. Uh, I've done a lot of trial and error. But the glass jars just seem to make a pure, better oil because of the light getting through. I know white reflects light, but it's still summertime. It's 100 degrees, folks. It still works. Uh, like I said, just a few flies. This is mainly fish oil. The two jars back here in the back. Right here and here, that's uh, my beaver tail oil. Instead of uh, spending, what is it, $60 a pint, I got it, you know, pretty much free. And I use it in some of my baits and lures. If you see right here, I don't know if you can see the bubbles coming up in the jars. That's the gas that's being created from the decaying material. Uh, a lot of guys say, well, I just put a lid on the jar and it vents the gas just fine but you can do that but I've had maggots and flies all over the jar and it stinks and it's horrible I mean I can actually be around all this decaying material and not want to vomit because the smell is being filtered in that water so if you do it like this make sure that your bucket stays full of water and uh, everything I take electrical tape after I tighten the jar tape the heck out of it and it's just more precaution to keep the smell and the flies away but uh, I hope this helps you uh, give you some ideas how to render your own fish oil 
beaver tail oil, anything you want to sun, sun render. Uh, this is my system. God bless. Hope you all are doing good. See you more towards trapping season.